So now let's talk about the main reason we're in Marquette, the UP200 dog sled race. It's a 240 mile Iditarod qualifier that brings mushers and their teams in from all across the Midwest. And it's something I'd never experienced before. On race day morning, we had a chance to meet up with some of the participants at the vet check. So you're one of the vets that, that, that does the actual vet check. Yes. Now what is it you guys are looking for? This is, right now we're doing what's called the pre-race vet check. And so at this point we're making certain the dogs are healthy right. and that they are fit to compete in the race. Well, a lot of people are, seem concerned about you know dogs in this kind of sport, but these dogs seem to love this. They seem to live for it. These dogs enjoy it, okay? They, they live to pull, okay? Right. And they wouldn't do this unless they enjoyed it. Well, it's great because these dogs have something to do or something to, to, to live for, whereas exactly. a lot of dogs just lay around and, and eat, you know, which is, I don't think that's what animals were meant to do anyway. Well, that's what I do a lot, but, <laughs> but I was meant to do that. Are you ready for the race? Are you going to win? Really? Are you sure? Yeah, he's pretty sure. I think he's going to win. I like your coat. Where'd you get your coat? Is it warm? Or, hey, did you guys know that Stormy Cromer also makes uh, doggy beds? You're a girl musher, that's awesome! <laughs> Are there many women in this sport? Um, there's a good number. Good number of women? Yeah, there's a lot of women mushers. Uh, is this your sled? Yes, it is. Um, how much does a sled like this weigh? Well, when it's totally empty, yeah. it's probably about 30 pounds. Can I stand on it? Yeah. Oh, awesome. oh God. Wow. You can kind of just, you know, kind of do this with it. Well, that's how you steer. <laughs> yeah. It probably goes faster when there's dogs yeah. on it. Yeah. Yes. I was amazed at the, the condition these dogs were in. They're all in perfect. I mean, I've had a lot of dogs in my life, and my dogs usually end up kind of roly poly in, but these dogs are all in phenomenal condition. Absolutely. Some of the animals were questioned. Uh, they, they, people think they may look a little thin. But, uh, you know, no, they look the way speed. they're supposed to look, probably. Absolutely, there's no such thing as a fat marathon runner. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, he said he loves being up in Marquette and he can't wait until his next visit again. <laughs> awesome. While all that was going on, tons of snow was being trucked into downtown Marquette for the track that will eventually take the mushers out of town and on their journey. It was here where I had a great interview with one of the race's key figures. Well, I'm here with the official mascot of the uh, the race up here in Marquette, Banshee the dog. And uh, I've just arranged for an interview, excuse me. Deer? Banshee? Well, apparently uh, Banshee must have had some top priority business to attend to. So I decided to talk to race organizer Pat Storiano instead. Now, what does an event like this mean to the community? It's a big thing to the UP, you know, we're stuck in the we're stuck in the snow a long time. Right. And then you can get out and play in it. Right. It's gonna, it's stop, gonna that's what I tell people, stop complaining about it, get out and play in it, enjoy exactly. it. It's fun stuff. Yes. Tonight here on this very street where you're filming us, yeah. you will probably see you're close to 7,000 people. It is the largest event, summer and winter, to this, to this community. And as race time approaches, you realize why the UP200 is so special. It's one of the four biggest dog sled races in the lower 48. This is the best race we do. Right. I mean, it, there's no place else where you have a downtown start like this. You get, what, six, 7,000 people? Oh, a nighttime start like this is really cool. It's unbelievable. Now, are you talking to them while you're mushing them? Uh, you know, actually, the more you say to them, it's like, it's like my wife and I. The more she talks to me, the more she says. The, the less you listen? Right. <laughs> hey, it's the same in my house. Right, right. So many you look pretty warm. You warm? I am very warm. How much you, it looks like you're wearing everything you own. I, do, I only got half. Oh, there's only half? He does live in the UP. He is a Uber. <laughs> so the moment everyone was waiting for finally came, and it was spectacular. Three, two, one. Here he goes. Awesome. This is awesome. To the starting. I can't remember how many times I must have said the word awesome that night, but I couldn't think of another word to describe it. The people, the dogs, the race, the energy, Marquette, awesome. They say the older you get, the more often you should do something for the, for the very first time. You should really do this. This is exceptional. Oh, and it's awesome too. Under the Radar Michigan is brought to you in part by the Michigan State Housing Development Authority.